let's do one more exercise in SOLIDWORKS we have 2D files 2D drawing so let's start to do this in notes I'll check all dimensions are in millimeter material AISI 1020 steel fillets are 2 millimeter okay now here we have one front view scale 1 is to 1.5 and just in above there is a top view and there is one cross section now see there is a section A, B and C. Section A, this is the section A. It is going to show this cylindrical or circular body in this. Section B, just half of the body. You will see this is the section B, B, half. And then there is a detail view. See, this is the detail view of this. So, we will start with top plane. You will see this outer flange, 50 by 90 by 150 not 150 150 the center to center these whole dimensions 150 90 millimeter there is a four number of holes 12 dia overall length 180 millimeter see here now see the whole depth 12 millimeter throughout hole and here the thickness of this 16 millimeter okay so we will create this flange then there is six four number of corner fillets are 16 then there is a four number of holes so i'm going to select other unit you can change it from here by default it's millimeter top plane sketch now drop down and choose here center rectangle now just move your cursor and place at origin point see this and drag and see place somewhere and press escape key to out activate the smart dimension now the length 180 millimeter okay now this depth 90 millimeter okay now exit and here choose extruded boss base feature see this is moving upside arrow start condition keep same in direction one we have to keep blind now here you have to apply thickness 16 millimeter say okay uncheck real view so now we have to apply corner fillet so here one option called fillets click and activate now fillet type first one constant size fillet then before going to item to fillet so we have to choose one corner let's say one two three and four then here so section tangent preparation these corners going to be tangent with this connecting edge full preview partial preview full preview okay no preview so i am going to keep full preview now fillet parameter symmetric radius 16 millimeter say okay see here now here we have to apply one hole hole wizard now here select this one for hole now let's make metric hole hole dowel hole now here you have to choose size what size of hole 12 now here keep end condition simply choose through all because I want to make throughout hole if you go to position it will ask you choose one plane so select this plane now play somewhere here press escape key to out of this selection see now I am going to make center line vertical and horizontal center line okay now activate here smart dimension now click this dimension this if I move cursor outside it will show you diameter click 150 okay now similarly I am doing for vertical distance just move cursor 50 millimeter isometric view just say ok and look the hole is created now let's make multiple number of hole with the help of linear pattern activate linear pattern first direction one I am going to choose this now the hole the gap between two hole in this condition ok let's choose fillet a feature and faces I am going to select the hole now space and this spacing and instances distance between two hole 150 see this is moving towards here number of instances hole 2 
direction 2 i am going to select any one edge which is see this i am going to select this one spacing and instances and the gap between two hole 50 millimeter see here you will see the preview number of hole 2 instances 2 and now rest keep as it is full preview okay look the hole is created now from bottom to top 111 millimeter this is the tolerance 0 0.03 uh, we will see this outer diameter we have to apply and you will see at top view these are the tangent to this outer edge so this is going to be 90 millimeter look then one more body here see 110 the overall length this is lies at center and you will see the height 50 millimeter from this side and 45 millimeter from this side and the diameter of this cylindrical body you will see in section a 60 millimeter so let's do this now first i am going to select this face a sketch on the plane now activate circle and the origin point is the center point so i am going to click and start from here press escape key to out now press and hold shift key select this outer edge and this circle and if you leave you will see this pop up tangent relation see this is fully defined extrude now here we will learn about start condition select surface and and going to select this face now extrusion start from this face and here in direction this is moving in perfect direction you can drag this arrow now length 111 see if you keep unmerge it will make two body but i want to merge result so enable this merge result okay now if you select this if you want to click now here from here you can see tolerance and precision choose symmetric or let's say limit now here limit was 0 0.03 plus minus 0 0.03 you will see see this is going to be apply here or you can apply bilateral now see okay now if you check look now let's check right plane sketch now activate circle and here draw one circle enter 660 enter see the diameter applies exit press escape key to exit smart dimension now distance from bottom it's 50 millimeter okay this is also tolerance apply if you want to apply some limit or something like limit symmetric okay and here 0 0.02 see now distance from here to here vertical dist horizontal distance 45 millimeter look Activate extruded boss base feature, start condition keep same, end condition make mid plane and center distance 110. Okay. See, if you see in section view, there is a holes. Now there is a tabbed hole M72 into 4, see here, and there is one chamfer 90 degree 48 this outer diameter. So we will do this depth. 20 millimeter now these internal diameter 80 now here m30 tabbed here tabbed hole 25 minus 9 it's going to be 16 millimeter okay so let's do this tabbed hole then there is one more tabbed hole you will see here 30 30 and this is lies at center 
and we will use revolver cut this diameter you will see okay see one diameter 30 millimeter and another dotted line you will see this is 45 millimeter so I'm going to select front plane sketch again click now I'm going to activate uh, let's make one center line okay now smart dimension and connect make sure these lines are horizontal apply now distance from outer edge 20 millimeter and this is also distance from outer edge 16 and this distance from outer edge 25 okay let's select this one and select this construction line if you move cursor outside you will see diameter 50 if you select inner one 80 now here go to feature and activate revolve cut now this is open just because of construction line so solidworks asks you would you like the sketch to be automatically closed say yes by default axis of revolution selected by system this center line and you will see the preview keep end condition blind and 360 degree i want to make a complete hole say okay if you see section view okay look now there is a hole so go to hole wizard tabbed hole okay now i am going to select metric tabbed hole not bottoming because now here you will find option now in many cases you will find only m64 into 6 so if you want to add uh, make this one you have to add it how you will going to do this go to tools toolbox configuration and here select hole wizard go to nc tabbed hole tabbed hole now look size come down now here most of the cases only up, up to here so this is you can here see plus symbol add new size and add all the values like m72 into 4 pitch 4 hold diameter 68 this is what we added and it will say ok and it will cancel again now let's apply tabbed hole 74 into 4 blind now depth is 20 now hold depth up to shoulder now thread depth 20 now come down option choose here cosmetic thread because I want to show here cosmetic thread position first you have to choose one plane so I am going to select this plane now it is in normal position just move your cursor and place at origin point press escape key to out ok now look if you don't see here cosmetic thread go to option documents property activate detailing and here choose shaded cosmetic thread ok look let's apply at bottom also hole wizard tabbed hole now here i am going to choose iso because pitch is not mentioned so tabbed hole now m30 see here this is without pitch m30 now what is the depth of uh, hole 16 up to shoulder and thread also up to 16 now this is the same cosmetic thread option select one face and place at center 
press escape key to out say okay look now let me check one section view front view section view okay now look this is how our hole is created now here we need to create one front view section view I want to create one okay and draw one center line make sure this line construction line okay now let's apply angle is 90 divided by 2 is 45 degree now distance angle uh, overall length 78 millimeter okay now let me choose here now this is the internal hole Le select the hole internal wall and this line collinear relation see this is fully defined sketch activate revolve cut axis of revolution this center line keep end condition blind and I want to cut 360 degree so here choose 360 degree say ok look the chamfer is cut now here also we need to make a hole so first we have to create a plane for this plane select bottom and here choose 50 because 50 is the center of this flip direction see ok now select the plane and click sketch again normal now here I want to create a hole so ok let's activate line and start center line draw one close geometry ok select this one construction line now let's define few important relation press and hold shift key select these two equal collinear important smart dimension 30 millimeter fine now select this one and diameter 30 millimeter and this diameter 45 according to section view now it's time to cut activate revolve cut now this is open geometry just because of construction line say yes and I want to close now you will see the preview axis this construction line by by default selected by system I want to cut 360 degree see the hole is trimmed cut now let's hide now if you see there is a 2 rib 41, 5, 41 degree see from this corner this corner so let's we will make 2 rib and here one 81 millimeter from this center line diameter 30 and there is a hole 10 diameter and you will see this is up to inside hole okay let's do these two things first we have to create a plane plane first reference front plane here 81 millimeter see okay even if you see click on this and from here you can apply tolerance limit bilateral or symmetric so in our case it's symmetric 0 0.02 see now select this plane sketch and activate circle and here draw one circle this circle diameter 30 enter press escape key to out now let's make few important relation hold shift key select this vertical smart dimension and this is going to be like 50 millimeter extrude now here keep blind but this is moving in wrong direction so reverse but this is going to move up to inside so here to cho simply choose up to next so it will start from this plane and 
वर्क ओनली अप टू दिस आउटर सरफेस से ओके क्लिक एंड हाइड प्लेन लुक होल विजॉर्ट टैप्ड होल नाउ एम टेन सो आई सो स्टैंडर्ड टैप्ड होल एंड हियर चूज एम टेन Now depth is here. Choose up to next position. Select this face. Move cursor at center. You have to apply at center. So click on the edge and you will find midpoint. Click and place. Press right click and select and out. Okay. Now let's check right section. Section. Okay. Now let's check. see how the hole is created now let's create a rib front plane a sketch now it's difficult to visible so normal to flip now start from any side let's say start from this corner to this one make sure this is it should be merged with this wall is smart dimension now we have only angle 51 degree isometric view go to feature and activate rib now thickness we have to add from mid side <laughs> 8 mm so this is going to move now just check arrow this is moving towards out of body so here choose flip material side ओके लुक मिरर नफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक ए वन रेफरेंस प्लेन राइट प्लेन फीचर टू मिरर सिंपली डायरेक्टली चूज दिस यू विल सी द प्रीव्यू फुल प्रीव्यू ओके देर इज अ होल यू विल सी दिस सेक्शन एम एट एट नंबर ऑफ होल्स मीन फोर होल्स एट बोथ साइड you will see 30 mm and the circle pitch 45 we will make both side then at top you will see there is a hole 84 pitch you will see detail view 3 mm the hole depth hole depth 9 mm and there is one more circular cut out 12 mm r3 Okay, let's do hole wizard. Tapped hole. ISO M eight. Okay. Depth twenty two. Up to shoulder, and thread depth also twenty two. position select this face now this is going to be placed somewhere like press escape key to out is activate circle start from origin and put the diameter 45 enter and select this circle for construction okay now select this point and activate your tool now place at four corner press escape key to out now create one relation between these two select these two holes horizontal similarly the bottom one select these two holes horizontal now this vertical <coughs> select these two vertical smart dimension now distance between these two is 30 mm Now see, this is fully defined sketch. You will see the preview. Say okay. Look, the hole is created. Now let's mirror this hole. Right plane, activate mirror. Now in feature, drop down here. Choose M8 tab. You will see full preview. If you see partial preview, it will see show you only the projected one. 
okay look now similarly the whole we have to create here also so go to whole wizard now simply i am going to choose whole here let's go to metric type dowel hole now from here choose 3 mm and depth is 9 mm up to shoulder position now select this one now place somewhere here press escape key to out again i am going to apply circle apply select up to this point for construction escape key to out is now define this 84 press activate this point and activate the circle and place this corner press escape key to out and just rotate and see the preview say okay let me choose front plane section view okay the hole is not perfectly aligned on plane so come down edit press escape key to out now let's click and delete now again activate the point and you will see this is the center point you will once you press your uh, move your cursor you will see a dotted center line this is fully defined exit section view front plane okay now look now it's perfectly now there is a one hole front plane sketch activate circle now at this wall 3 radius into 2 smart dimension distance from outer one is 12 mm again center line and draw one center line this is the midpoint just draw one vertical line make sure the line should be vertical exit and here choose revolve cut feature now see the center line is selected just check angle 360 degree just say okay and look the hole is created cut out now we did almost everything okay we covered all the things now what else balance only fill it all rounds are 2 mm you will see this corner this corner this corner have fillet here also this corner also have fillet if you see from top view see the corner have fillet this corner have fillet see so let's try to cover fillet fillet type constant size and here fillet parameters i am going to apply to symmetric let me select 1 2 okay let me select this side all first even you can check hidden line also see okay let's check this it is going to be faulty so delete this we will apply in next select these vertical lines say okay again activate fillet constant type 2 mm and this time we will choose the balance one select this edge and this edge this is what the only balance thing okay now material right click 
edit material and this is the our material AISI if you click on you will see the properties of material say apply see the color is changed okay if you want to change appearance go to appearance appearance I am going to double click it will change from here edit appearance even again you can change this one say okay look this is how we make a simple tutorial in SOLIDWORKS with the help of basic features. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.